warm you sunbathing. Good morning everyone. I'm headed to the office to do some cleaning and testing for Cooper. Um, we've been super busy lately with the game store and me working. Um, I'm now full time as well as I will be attending school as well on top of that. So I'm trying to help him out as much as I can, um, getting some shipments out, getting things cleaned and tested, and um, I do have work tonight so I'm only going to be there for an hour or two, but I hope I can show you guys a little bit of what I'm doing. I just got to the office. Um, it's obviously a mess as you guys can see, but whatever. I got a tie ice team. This is what keeps me alive sometimes. Hey everybody, welcome to today's vlog. Um, Abby is actually at the office right now. She's cleaning and testing stuff for me. And then my plan is to go in later today and work on that stuff. Uh, take pictures of the stuff that's for eBay and then work on the Amazon stuff as well. Um, it is 2 p.m. and I'm just sitting here watching some YouTube. Um, Abby should be home in like an hour and then I have a Craigslist deal to do uh, later today. Uh, probably like as soon as she gets home, honestly. Um, I have a couple, some PS2 games to sell. Uh, just like a $45 little bundle of stuff. And then I'm going to be heading to the office, like I said. I'm currently talking through email to a representative for, what is the place called? For Fat Merchant, which is a company that does merchant processing. So they can take, you know, you go through them to take your credit card and debit card purchases and everything. And uh, it sounds like they're going to be able to integrate with the GiftLogic software that I have. And so I'm just waiting to verify that the terminal that I bought is going to be compatible as well, which I see no reason why it wouldn't be. But um, the Fat Merchant seems to have the best pricing structure. I've done a lot of research on it. And for a, for a brick and mortar store, uh, I think their prices are the best. And it is essentially, it's $99 a month for like a flat, you know, monthly subscription fee. Then you pay eight cents per transaction, and then, um, what was the? There's one more thing I can't remember what it's called, uh, but it's basically the fees that are paid to Mastercard, Visa, Discovery, etc. Um, so I think that I think that they are going to be the best company to work with for this. Um, Square is one that a lot of people use, but um, from all the research I can see, it seems like they're saying Square is better for lower volume sales or like mobile type businesses like a food truck or someone who sells at a bunch of like, like bazaars and things like that. So I think I'm going to be going with Fat Merchant for that. Um, and I'm getting really close to finishing putting all the games into the inventory. Yesterday I got I got farther on that. Um, let me see if I can check really quick because I have it open. I don't know if I told you yesterday, but I have 3,287 games entered so far. I have two tubs left, uh, GameCube and Genesis slash Atari. And then I have all of the, all the handheld stuff. Um, DS, 3DS, PSP, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color... Um, all those. So I'm going to try and get closer to finishing up today. I'll be working on that later. But for now, I'm just going to chill until Abby gets back. I'm on my way right now to meet up with the guy to sell those PS2 games. And then I'm going to head back home because Abby walked in the door and I had to just leave right away because the guy's already there. But um, like I said earlier, I'm going to be heading out to, um, to the office and stuff today. I need to do some eBay shipping and go to the post office as well. So I'm gonna do this deal really quick and then head back home. Zelda is super in love with me. And sometimes she's just so sweet. And she's been, she's been laying on my lap here. <laughs> she still doesn't even know what to do with herself. She's the sweetest little kitty. I'm up in the garage for a minute to resurface a couple discs, a couple copies of Wind Waker here, um, and then I'm going to be heading out to the post office, drop off my packages, and 
I think I'm going to wait to go to the office until later this evening um, so that I can work work up here in the garage for a bit um, after I get back from the post office, of course. But I really want to finish getting all the games entered in and then um, do like a test run of, the, of a sale. Um, my plan, so I can get all the stuff entered in but that doesn't mean that the games are done because I still have to print out all the price tags and put them on the games. And because the games are just spread out everywhere, I thought the easiest way to do that would be to wait until I have the actual store and I have the shelving up and then I can put the games on the shelves in alphabetical order. And then when I print the price tags, they should also print in alphabetical order. And so that'll make it really easy to to find the games quickly and put the price tags on. And I can print them, I can print like a specific selection of games at a time, so I can print like all the GameCube labels at once and not have anything else mixed in. And then it'll be easy enough to just go to the shelf, pull off the games one by one and put the labels on because they're all gonna be alphabetized. So I think that's what I'm gonna try and do for those. Um, in order to run like a test sale though, I'm going to have to print off a couple of those price tags now and put them on the game so that I can use the scanner to scan the games, and it'll just, you know, I'll just pick some random stuff, um, pretend like someone pulled them off the shelves and brought them up to the counter, so I'll scan them in, I'll probably, I'll try to do, like, some discounts and different stuff, um, just to make sure that everything's working, and then finish out the, finish out that, you know, that sale, and hopefully everything is just running smoothly. Um, I don't know exactly when I'm going to do that, because, um, I don't want to have a fake sale affect the, like, the profit or the taxes or anything like that. So the first one I did, I put I put enough discounts on it so that, I put 100% discount so it was sold for $0, basically. Air quotes don't really make sense there, but that's what I did. So I'll have to figure something out, probably do that again for this next test. Um, but for now, I'm just going to finish up with these couple games here and then head to the post office. I'm heading out now to go to the post office, drop off my packages. Then I got to make a run to the bank. What up? Just kidding. They're all ones. That is $89 in ones. That's left over from change from all the expos and shows that we've done. And I'm going to deposit it all into the double jump bank account. Along with the money I've gotten over the past few days from all the Craigslist deals I've been doing. So headed out now, then I'm going to grab some food and then head back home and yeah, start working on the inventory. This place is a mess. <laughs> I need to get this place cleaned up and I'm gonna try and work on it a little bit right now. <sighs> There's just stuff everywhere. Stuff left over from the last pickup video I did that I just I don't know where to put it. <laughs> so I'm gonna spend just a little bit of time doing this because I do have to work on the inventory, but this is getting a little out of hand. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this place cleaned up and then start entering in the rest of the video games. I just got to the office and it looks like Kevin left me a case for new Super Mario Bros. DS and an All-Star Baseball 2003 GameCube game. So <clears throat> that's awesome. Put those, I have three tubs here of game store stuff. <clears throat> but like I said, just got here. So, so I am now going to work on stuff I'll be here for a while, and then when I go home, I'm going to... I don't know if I really want to work in the garage too much more, so <clears throat> what I might do is just grab the box or the two little tubs I have of Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, DS, 3DS, and PSP games, and I can just take those downstairs and just lay in bed and enter them. So I'll probably just do that once I get home, but I'll be here for a little bit. I'm leaving now to head back home. I got a lot of stuff done, got two boxes here ready to ship out to Amazon which is awesome and I have a lady who I'm pretty sure I'm gonna meet up with her but she wants to buy uh, Mario Kart Wii 
along with um, two wheels, I think. So I'm hoping that she can still meet. It's getting kind of late. And originally she had said, you know, the, the time isn't an issue, but she also hasn't responded to my Facebook messages in probably like half an hour. So hopefully she's still good to meet up and I'll do that. But for now, I'm heading home and Abby should be awake by now. She has work tonight. And those packages I'm going to take uh, probably, well, probably Monday at this point because, well, that's dark. <laughs> but UPS is closed tomorrow, at least the warehouse is. That's where I usually drop the packages off at. So I'll probably end up taking them on Monday, which is fine. Oh, and I actually forgot to tell you guys, I got an email from, I don't know what she is, but someone who is at the complex where the game store is going to be. Her name is Nicole. I don't know if she is like the manager or she's the owner or the landlord. I'm not really sure. But according to her, it's going to take about two weeks from right now for them to finish tearing down the walls because it's not just tearing down the walls that they have to do. Um, there's also, according to her, there's electrical wires and stuff in those walls, but I really don't think that there are because they were, they were the walls of a dressing room. I don't know why they would ever put outlets on them. So, and I don't remember seeing any outlets in there, but according to her, they have to take down, or they have to take out the electrical as well, and then they not only have to repair the ceiling and the floor where the walls are coming out from, but they also have to repair um, the the edge of the walls where where the the wall that's being taken out is connected. So it sounds like it's going to be just a little bit longer than I was expecting or that I was hoping uh, before we can start moving stuff in. Because, like I said before, we can't move anything in until they're done. Until they're done getting all the, the construction finished. So, I mean, I'll keep you guys updated if I hear anything else. But that's what I know so far. I am back home now. There's a kitten down here. And we have we have that one last steak. And Abby wants me to cook it for her. So I'm going to cook that up. Once again, I'm not going to film it. I'm just going to do it the same way as the other ones. If you want to see, you can go back and watch the Cooking with Cooper vlog. But we also have these other, these tri-tip ones, but I just took them out of the freezer today. So they're going to, it's going to be probably a couple days before they're ready to be cooked. But we got one more steak here. So I'm going to cook this up. Abby said I could have half of it since I ate the other two. It was my bribery to get him to cook it for me. <laughs> she was going to cook it, but she wants me to do it. So she had to pay the price, which is half of a steak. <laughs> this is the best steak that I have ever made by far. I thought that it was a little, a little overcooked. It's like, it's probably not going to show up very well, but it's like barely pink. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. This is the same steak as the other two that we did the first night. But for some reason, this one's way more tender. And I really tried to make this one better. Instead of putting in, like, you know, huge pieces of garlic, I cut all the garlic up really small. But it was still, you know, we have, like, minced garlic in the, in the fridge, but I used, like, the actual garlic and, and minced it myself. And then I used more butter than I normally do and I put the butter in sooner this time usually I'll cook it on one side and then once I flip it then I'll put the butter and garlic in and then baste the top from there but I put the I put the butter in actually before the steak um, along with the coconut oil and I put like a big piece of butter on top of the steak and let it melt as it was cooking and then I flipped it and then put that before it you know the piece of butter hadn't completely melted so I put it back on top again 
It's just so good. Yeah. Hey, look at you. You just got out of bed. You're the underachiever yeah. every woman wants to sleep with. Abby's leaving for work now. Yep, yep. And I'm eating some chocolate covered almonds. I love you. I love you too. Say bye. Bye. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> what a cute. Abby just left for work, so I'm up in the garage because I need to finish the games. And instead of just sitting up here and going through these tubs, so is this the right one? Huh. I thought that one of these tubs was GameCube games, but it looks like it's original Xbox and 360 and a couple Xbox One games. <clears throat> so I guess I have more Xbox to do. And then the Atari and the Genesis one, but I thought it'd be much easier to just take pictures of what I thought was GameCube, but is Xbox. I'm just going to take pictures of them so that I can lay downstairs and do it. And I'll take all of the, the Game Boy games down there with me so that I can do those while I'm laying in bed. It's like like 11 15 or so so i've got this pink tub here and then this one below it as well is all full of handheld games so <clears throat> i'll take those two tubs with me downstairs and take pictures of the xbox and i'm going to be starting to work on those right now i kind of want to just work on the game store stuff until i start to pass out and then go to sleep so i think i'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe, and I will see you again tomorrow. This place is a mess. <laughs> I need to get this place cleaned up and I'm gonna try and work on it a little bit right now. <sighs> There's just stuff everywhere. Stuff left over from the last pickup video I did that I just I don't know where to put it. <laughs> so I'm gonna spend just a little bit of time doing this because I do have to work on the inventory but this is getting a little out of hand. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this place cleaned up and then start entering in the rest of the video games.